because obviously Schalke have got nothing to lose in any of the games anymore. They've got to just throw caution to the wind and with VAR and everything else going on, they, they could come and um, and stiff you. So plus 105 for Frankfurt to be leading half-time, full-time. Let's go on to game number three. I thought the numbers were wrong here. I had to check them. Union at plus 120 against Hoffenheim at plus 235. The under or over is set at two and a half, which I thought was wrong straight away. And then I see the favourite is actually on the unders. I cannot believe that this is on the unders. Um, the draw is at plus 240. Hoffenheim scored goals home and away. And Union are strong. And they will offer uh, positives in both forward thinking, open play and set pieces. So, Kev, I, I expect this to be minimum 2-1, but I think Hoffenheim could get something out of the game as well. So for me, I just see the over 2.5 at minus 105 and not care who wins. Yeah, it's an interesting one, this game. I do think Union is stronger. I, and I think they had their wobble towards the end of the year. That was understandable. They were out on their feet. Uh, and I think they really needed the World Cup break. I think the World Cup break came at the wrong time for some teams, but not for Union. They they needed it very much. Um, Hoffenheim, again, it probably came at a good time for them because they were shown really, really poor form. They started the season brilliantly under Andre Brighton Reiter, but they've just lost their way in the last few games. And if you look at their away form, actually, it's pretty poor. They've only yeah. won a couple of they've only won a couple of away games this season. If you go back further. For the last couple of seasons, it's been bad. So uh, I think that Union price, when I looked at it, it was about plus 110. It's come out a little bit since then. It's a bit more attractive. I think if I was going to go for something in this game, that's probably the way I'd go, actually. I'd probably go plus 120. Union have lost Julian Rioson, and that's a blow. He, he's a low-key player. He's not an amazing fullback, but he's a good fullback, and he understood what Urs Fischer wanted, the coach, and he has that ability to play left back and, and right back and, and play those wing back roles. So I do think that's a blow for them. But Hoffenheim have lost Jorginho Rutel. He's going to Leeds and that just robs them of a bit of unpredictability in attack. So we don't know how Kasper Dolberg's going to do. He was a bit disastrous uh, at Severe. It didn't really work out for him there. Hasn't really found a home, I think, since leaving Ajax. So, yeah, there's a few question marks for this game. Yeah, I mean, I think that if Union win, they're going to need to score twice. I think Hoffenheim definitely score. I've got this down as being 2-1. I wouldn't put you off Union. I love Union at home at plus 120, especially after a break. Refreshed, Alex. Union to score twice is plus 115. Also, Union to score and both both teams to score and over 2.5 is going to be about plus 125, plus 130. Um, I just don't see clean sheets here. Union unbeaten at home this season, five wins, two draws. But uh, I wouldn't put you off of a draw here at plus 240, to be honest. Uh, I think, uh, uh, yeah, Hoffenheim are dreadful on the road. Uh, dreadful. Under Underperforming, let's put it this way. So, uh, but I think that they can take out some, something from this, this game, you know. It's the first game after, after restart. Uh, new faces uh, uh, inside the, the team. Uh, also, on the other side, Union lost uh, one of their players. Uh, they still have one of the uh, most uh, organized team squads in the league, and they are playing at home. This is why it's better to stay away from this type of games, you know? Um, still, I think that the, the value is on the draw. I don't know. I, I, will have a, I will have a small stake on the draw. Do you think that like a 2-2 draw? Yeah, a, a draw with goals, absolutely. Because you know the way the Hoffman and I play. They play the same home and away. And the reason their away uh, performances have been so poor is because they have no discipline. They don't know how to defend. Exactly. It's only like 4-2-4 four, four they play. Or they play like a 4-1-1. One, one, they go four. all in, no matter what. They yeah, have one plan. Yeah, and they leave themselves and isolated. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, listen, I'm just gone with this straight over two and a half goals. I'm just going to make sure that that is what I've gone for. No, in fact, I've uh, I've been greedy. Have a look at this for official picks. I wouldn't put anyone off of Union, by the way. I think they're very, very strong. Both teams to score and over two and a half is at plus 120. So uh, I turned that minus 105 into plus 120 just because I know I think Hoffenheim score. Um, but I do like uh, Union, but I'm not going with plus the first game. Right back. Now. You, can, you, can, you can do it one, plus 150 right now. Well, both teams scoring over two and a half. We bet US is yes. plus 150. Uh-huh. Wow. 
That's good then. I like that. My, my graphics boys, they will work. They'll change that for me. Uh